What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So this is going to be quite a quick tutorial just showing you guys how to install some emulators on your PS4 for 5.05 or 4.55 or 4.05. Um, basically, you know, it'll work on any of those uh, versions. So I've got two emulators to show you how to install. One is a completely custom made emulator I believe, uh, which is a Game Boy emulator. And the other one is a SNES emulator. Now the SNES emulator, it's kind of, it's not a completely custom made one because it's actually a sort of a well-established um, SNES emulator for the PS2 called SNES Station. But, you know, since you can run PS2 games on the PS4, uh, it will work on the PS4 as well. So go ahead and download them. I'll put the links in the description. Um, these versions come with more games, the ones that I have in the description. Uh, there were previous releases of these uh, which only had a few games, or I think the Game Boy one only had one game and the SNES one only had about 10 games, maybe less. Uh, the ones I've linked in the description have a lot more games, so make sure you download those ones. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get a USB stick. Once again, make sure it's XFAT format, preferably, um, and then go into the USB drive and copy your package files that you downloaded into the root of the USB drive. Don't put it in any folders. And then we'll go on to the PS4 and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so once you're on the PS4, what you're gonna want to do is of course head on into the internet browser and go to the WebKit exploit. You wanna select your firmware version, so 5.05 .05 for me, and run HEN, which is the homebrew enabler which will allow you to run homebrew applications and it will also unlock the debug settings. So there you go, PS4 Hen version 1.6. Then press the middle button on your PS4 to exit. Scroll over to settings and then scroll down to the bottom and you, you should have a debug settings option. Go in there, go into game, package installer. And of course it would help if I had my USB stick plugged into the PS4. Just do that. So back out, go back in, there we go. And then just basically install your emulators. Okay, and there we go, we got both of them installed. So we'll head back out to the home screen. And there we go, we've got our SNES emulator and our Game Boy emulator. So let's run the Game Boy emulator first. So this is uh, Unity based. And there we go. So I could start playing this, so I think X or square I mean to start and yeah I'm controlling him so the sound isn't perfect and they have said the creator has said that you know those are things that still need to be worked on um, improving the sound particularly so yeah as you can see X to jump you use the d-pad to move along and it's actually it runs pretty smooth not bad And then if you press, yeah, if you press L1, that will bring up the ROM selection. So as you can see, there's quite a big list of games that you can select. So if I just, you know, randomly scroll through here and then... So when you find the game after scrolling, there's so many on here, it's ridiculous. So when you find one you want to load, you just press R1 twice. And there you go, it loads up the, the other game. Yeah, the sound is pretty, pretty harsh, but hopefully that will be improved in future. So, anyway, that's the Game Boy emulator. I'll try not to destroy your ears anymore with that one. So let's have a look at the SNES one. So this is, of course, a PlayStation 2 game, essentially, an emulator designed for the PlayStation 2. But uh, because, of course, we're able to run PlayStation 2 games on our jailbroken consoles, we can actually play this. So this should be um, a bit more perfected. Okay, here we go. So CD-ROM, ROMs. Okay, and as you can see, there's absolutely a ridiculous number of games in here. You can hold um, R2 to scroll down faster. So as you can see, absolutely loads and loads of games. Let's get to the... Let's do Super Mario Kart. 
So we just press X and it'll start loading the game. You gotta bear in mind, not all of these games are gonna run perfectly smooth. But, um, you know, most games will run fairly well. I mean, this game seems to be, so far, running pretty good. Yeah, here we go. I mean, just to show we're on PS4 here, here's the share. <laughs> Can actually video clip this. All right. Hold down X to move. It is actually running pretty smoothly, but not all games will. I did try loading up uh, Doom earlier and it, it was a buggy mess. It was running at like two frames per second. Whereas this, this seems to be running pretty smoothly. So yeah, that's basically it guys. That's how you run emulators on your PS4, SNES and Game Boy emulators. And I'm sure there's more emulators. You can have a look around for other ones. Um, some, some don't work on 5.05 yet. There's another, there's like a Sega uh, emulator and another SNES emulator that I tried, but it, it kept switching off the PS4. Um, I think they were meant for 4.55 or 4.05. They don't really work on 5.05 consoles yet. Uh, so maybe those will be updated soon, so it's worth to keep a lookout for those. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty good for now. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and, le go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.